Dear students, welcome back. In the previous session, we have uh, discussed about the deep fascia of the soul. Now, in this session, we are going to discuss about the muscles of the soul. As we know that the muscles of the soul are arranged in four layers. In this session, we are going to discuss about the muscles of the first layer of the soul. The first layer of the soul lies just beneath the deep fascia and in this layer three muscles are present and these three muscles are one muscle is placed medially and the other one is laterally and, um, and the next muscle is placed in between them. So the medial side muscle is called as abductor hallucis. And the lateral side is called as abductor digiti minimi. In the middle, we will have the flexor digitorum brevis. Okay. So, the name itself, the names of these muscles itself indicates the action of which toe. Okay. So, here the abductor hallucis means it which is mainly related to the great toe. Abductor digiti minimi, which is uh, related to the little toe, and the flexor digitorum brevis, digitorum we are getting, and this one is related to the lateral four um, toes. Okay, now we will see one by one its origin, insertion, action, and now supply. The first muscle is the abductor hallucis. The abductor hallucis is getting originating from the medial tubercle of the calcaneum medial tubercle of the calcaneum as well as the flexor retinaculum flexor retinaculum and this muscle is getting inserted into the medial side of the proximal phalanx of the great toe medial side of the proximal phalanx of the great toe and this muscle is supplied by the medial plantar nerve which is the terminal branch of the tibial nerve okay next and if you see the action the name itself indicates uh, that abductor so it abducts the great toe it abducts the great toe from the second toe okay this is about the abductor hallucis now we will move on to the next muscle that is abductor digiti minimi and um, the if you see this origin of this abductor digiti minimi it is getting originating from the medial and lateral so medial and lateral tubercles of the calcaneum medial and lateral tubercles of the calcaneum if you see the insertion the muscle gives rise to a tendon which is inserted on the lateral side of the base of the proximal phalanx of the little toe so apart from this the muscle gains insertion into the base of the fifth metatarsal and that part is called the abductor of the fifth metatarsal also. If you see the now supply, this one is supplied by the lateral plantar nerve. So, which is the deep branch. Okay, this is the deep branch of the lateral um, plantar nerve. Okay and it helps in the abduction of the little toe it helps in the abduction of the little toe and the next muscle that is a flexor digitorum brevis so this one is um, or originating from the medial tubercle of the calcaneum as well as the plantar aponeurosis plantar aponeurosis this muscle is getting inserted okay before insertion the muscle divides into four fleshy slips before insertion this muscle divides into four 
fleshy slips and each slip goes to each of the lateral four toes okay and each slip a tendon emerges and is inserted into the sides of the middle phalanx of the toe sides of the middle phalanx of the toe okay so this is the insertion and if you see the nerve supply this flexor digitorum brevis is also supplied by the medial plantar nerve medial plantar nerve and if you see the action which flexes the proximal proximal interphalangeal joints proximal interphalangeal joints as well as um, the metatarsophalangeal joints of the lateral four toes okay these are all about the muscles of the first layer of the sole thank you